Pleasant good morning, everyone, and welcome to another morning devotion with HEDM. My name is Brother Darius, and today I'll be speaking on Sarah. So, Sarah's name means princess. In Genesis, Sarah's name, Sarah's was, Sarah was first named Sarah, which, but it was spelled different. Her name, her name was spelled H-S-A-R-A-I. So which so yeah, so so her name that she she was originally given was um her name in Hebrew means my lady or my princess. So then God had named her Sarah, but this time it's spelled differently. But her name is spelled Sarah, but just with an H instead of an I, you know. So yeah. So, so um, Sarah. So oh. A similar Hebrew name, which was which is the same thing as Sarah, spelled spelled differently with an I. So it's still it's still the same thing, still meaning lady, princess, or noble woman. So yeah, Sarah is the wife of Abraham. So Sarah's most remarkable qualities is that she had hospitality, contentment, and discernment. So Sarah didn't didn't hesitate to kick, to take care of unexpected visitors. Sarah learned to live without a child and to be content with her life. So basically, she had made a good decision telling Abraham that Hagar and Ishmael must go. So now we're going to get into Sarah's most remarkable accomplishments. So Sarah Sarah was the biblical matriarch, and she became a mother of nations. So in Genesis, in Genesis seventeen verse 13, sixteen, at the age of ninety years old, Isaac was born. So here are some lessons that we can learn from Sarah. At a first glance, we may not be able to relate to Sarah's story. Unless we have experience in fertility. But the stories of Sarah in the Bible are actually ritual lessons for all of us. Often we pray, and if God doesn't seem to answer at what we consider a reasonable time, we think he's not going to answer sometimes. But the lesson, but the lesson to learn is patience is virtue. I'm going to say it again. Patience is a virtue. The story teaches us an important lesson that we must trust in God's plan. The story is also a good example to help kids understand the importance of patience. So as in the story, Abraham and Sarah did not lose their faith in all those years and maintained their faith in God. So when you face a seemingly impossible situation on earth, give it to God. He is able to do more than anything we can ask or imagine. Nothing is impossible for, for God himself. All in God's timing. So often we pray for something and if God doesn't seem to answer, what we consider a reasonable time, we think that he's not going to answer. But the truth is, God always answers. But in, his, but in his perfect timing and not ours, as he says in Isaiah 55, chapter 8, verse 9, For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways or my ways, declares the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so my ways are higher than yours. And my thoughts than your thoughts. Infertility is not a punishment. My sisters listen to me, and God is not punish you, punishing you if you are able to conceive. So remember that his plans are not for us to question. So he may be waiting for a time that he determines 
he may have plans for you to adopt a child in need. So he may be protecting you from something. He may be he may be drawing you toward deeper depends on him. So God doesn't use fertility to punish us for his sins. We are all sinners and we deserve way worse that we are we are or have experienced. Just give it to God and everything will unfold his way. It is supposed to be according to his will. And these are the few words I'll leave with you. And let me say a short and quick prayer so we can get out of here and go to sleep again. So I want to thank you, Lord, for waking, make, waking me up this morning. Lord, I want to thank you for the roof over my head, Lord. I want to thank you for the clothes on my back, Lord. Lord, I ask that you continue to bless me and the viewers, Lord. The Lord, I ask that you bless the viewers. Let they get um let them get a good understanding to Sarah, which my which my one devotion topic is, Lord. To keep helping Accent. out the homeless people or get them off the streets, Lord. I ask that you help anyone with their ongoing ongoing problems, Lord. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. So I'm finished with my devotion. Now I have a quick request. Can you please like and subscribe? Cause and click the click the bell. The little the little bell. So you so you can be um so you can be notified anytime we get of devotion or video that's all going in church. So I love you all, God loves you all, Jesus loves you all. You probably I know everyone loves yourself, so later everyone. See you in the next devotion.